Hi folks, and welcome back for part 35 of Let's Play Discworld 2. Now, we are ready to go visit the elven city here, or elven castle, what have you. Even though I can't believe they'd be fooled by this. Because you are one. Now go. What? Come on, all hail me. It's been ten minutes since anyone said how fearsomely beautiful I am. Oh, um, right. Well, you're dangerously attractive, um, maddeningly gorgeous, um... Yes? Um, you're wonderful. Uh, you can torture small animals in a very regal way. Um, you can do amazing things with your hair. Well, what about you? Why haven't you said anything? Guards, off with his head. Uh, uh, wait, I, I, I meant to say something, but... Uh, but what? Uh, but but, um, but, but I, I was struck dumb by your beauty. That's it. Phew. Mm. All right. Slightly <laughs> crawly, but you can keep all your bits if you stand over there and croak like a frog. Ribbit. Nice person, Ribbit. isn't she? Ribbit. Absolute power. Who can say it isn't Ribbit. wonderful? Keep it going. You've still got plenty of little bits Ribbit. that could be chopped off, you know. Sorry. Uh, uh, Ribbit. 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 My own camp. Now all I need is a... Smile. Say Ribbit. children's blood. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Funny how nobody notices this. Ribbit. Ribbit. Ah, elves. Just think of all the things they do, it's like like songs that go tra la 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 lee, and knitted Ribbit. caps dipped in human blood. Wholesome traditions such as baby snatching. Ah, the beauty of the fairy realms. Ribbit. If I were a fairy tale stereotype with nothing better to do all day Ribbit. than pay homage to a self obsessed psychotic maniac of a queen, I'd hope that I could wear my Ribbit. misfortune with dignity, with stoicism, and with pride. Or, on the other Ribbit. hand, I could just try moping about and looking sorry for myself like this gothic fool here. Ribbit. Auga. Ribbit. Sometime Ribbit. later. <laughs> he got stuck staring at her. Ribbit. Will somebody remove that awful statue? Ribbit. And it's time to leave. But, let's see if I can get something to trigger, folks. So there's an interesting Easter egg here. It takes a few times going in and out, but... Maybe I've racked up enough time. Here we go! This look familiar to anyone else? I remember this. Aha! Things have changed, haven't they? Who are you? I'm you, just better drawn and animated. Just look at those jagged pixels, not to mention that mono voice. Please tell me what's going on. I'm from the sequel, and there's been a few changes, I can tell you. Higher resolution, a wizard must look the good, you know. Better sound, after all my voice isn't supplied by just anybody, you know. Longer rest periods between quests, less walking, that sort of thing. For the life of me, I don't see why they don't just have lots of film clips. I could sleep through the whole game then. Well, if you're from the sequel, then perhaps you could help me. I've been wandering around here for days like a puppet on a string. The person playing this game has no idea. Could you please explain to me that thing about butterflies and lampposts? Are you kidding? That's not going to help you. Honestly, some people. Look, I'm afraid I have to be somewhere else. Be seeing you then. Goodbye for now.
And so there's the Easter egg. We get to look at ourselves from the first game, folks. I thought that was kind of neat. So, I'm glad it kind of happened fast. I didn't want to have to keep entering in and out to trigger it. But hey, there we go. Now... Go over, please. Thank you. Okay. Well, the next thing we need to actually do... So you remember when we tried to surf earlier? We failed miserably because Rincewind couldn't stay on the board. However... Uh, okay, now we're cooking. Let's see me fall off it now. Let's see. Come on, surf. Now it's time to watch him surf off of Bondi Beach. Now that he can. And once he's glued to an ironing board, he makes a half decent s surfer. What's this? There we go. Primitive paintings of sheep preserved here just as they were tens of thousands of years ago. They are, of course, doing just exactly what sheep were also doing tens of dozens of seconds ago. <laughs> Basically, sheep are just sheep. I don't think I can actually remove them. I'll have to make a copy somehow. Primitive painting. Paintings of sheep, huh? Well, I wonder if we can take a picture, huh? There we go. A film of Neolithic sheep artwork. Yes, yeah, not particularly interesting, but I still feel there's an award in this somewhere. Who might want proof that sheep come from a long way away? Hmm, don't know. Film of the Elf Queen, eh? Hmm. We better get a big screen for this one. So. There we go. But surfing leads us to that. Who knows why it comes in handy, folks? It will eventually. I think I, we're finished now with the uh, Australian knockoff there. But now, let's go back to Hollywood. After all, we were uh, the one woman did want pictures of the Elf Queen. Please don't let this take too long. Okay. Yeah, we are just about out of time, really, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here, and just make sure to, that we don't go over... Again, I'm making sure of this. Just to make sure, I'm um, going to cut the video here, as I said before, even though I'm, and I'm repeating and mumbling. Go me! But anyway, uh, we'll be back next time where we give the pictures of the Elf Queen to the makeup artist. Until then, see you later! Take care, folks. Bye.